Hi friends, I'm Dave Barclow, pastor at Fort Walton Beach, First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our mind on the things of God. Uh, often, uh, when we think of Jesus, uh, we think of him as kind of meek and mild, right? A welcoming little children. And in fact, that's in the next chapter where Jesus welcomes and blesses little children. Uh, but other times, Jesus has very pointed, a very powerful, uh, seemingly almost harsh things to say. And that is uh, the subject of our scripture reading uh, today, the way that it can sound. So we're in Mark chapter 9 still. We'll be reading verses 42 through 50. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and go to hell to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. If you have your, and if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For anyone, for everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. So here there seems to be a few different things going on here. The first is Jesus has just gotten finished talking about uh, giving a cup of water uh, to, uh, to the followers of Christ. And, and Jesus has already talked about earlier in uh, chapter 9 about uh, uh, letting children come to him or becoming like one of these, the least of these children. And so uh, he then says, you need to be careful. You don't cause a little one to turn away from faith. Be careful with what you do. Otherwise, it, it will be bad for you. And then he goes on to say, it's better for you to lose a hand, a foot, or an eye than it is to allow that to go, to lead you into sin. Now, obviously, uh, this is a, a place where we believe Jesus is talking in hyperbole. He's using extreme speech to make an important point. Uh, there has been no Christian tradition of us cutting off our hands, our, our eyes, or our feet, uh, literally. But yet, the point is strong, right? Jesus is using this like, like we would say, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Well, we couldn't literally eat a horse, but we're making that point about our intense hunger. Here Jesus is making the point about our intense need to stay away from sin, to make sure that we do not allow ourselves to fall into sin because, uh, because there is punishment for sin. And when other and that Jesus, this is tied to not um, causing a little ones to stumble. So our sin is not just between us and our, ourselves, or our, us and even God. Our sin actually can lead other people to stumble too. We have a responsibility to our own souls, we have a responsibility to our Creator, and we have a responsibility to our brothers and sisters to try and be sanctified, to try and work with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit can bring out the God flavors uh, of our lives. What salt? Salt is something that brings out flavor in something. Here Jesus says to, for us to, to uh, have saltiness in ourselves, to live out the God flavors of our lives, to put away those sin pieces and live out the salty pieces that is God living in us. Remember, friends, I love you. Take care of yourselves and shine the light of Christ.